comes to this area? So, I mean, I, I can speak for, for Young Invincibles. I mean, I know that Governor Kasich, um, he, he spoke briefly about the importance of higher education. Um, but, I, but I think, you know, he, he talked about affordability coming from universities, not the state. Right, um, and, and we know that if, if universities are, are being forced to cut, um, then that, that cost is passed on to students. And with already, you know, students and families paying 62% of the total cost, we need, to, we need to reverse that trend and make sure that the state takes on more of the burden. Can you provide more details of what pre-recession funding is? Do you have a number for SSI or for OCOG or anything else? You know, I, I, I don't have that number available to me right now off the top of my head, but I can give that to you back in the I could. OCOG, when we're phasing out the Ohio Instructional Grant and phasing in OCOG, um, the, the height of that program was closer to uh, $200 million. I don't have the exact number, but um, which was around 2008. Um, so basically there was a time when the phasing out Ohio Instructional Grant and the Phasing In Ohio College Opportunity Grant were both higher individually, so double as high as current OCOG levels. Um, so we are, you know, that was that was the height of it, and then the recession hit, and everything took a cut. But I think a lot of us are saying, I mean, me personally, philosophy, I think we need to invest more in colleges during a recession because there's more of a, a need for it. But even if you don't share that philosophy. If Ohio's turning around and we're making progress and we have more money, this budget is, what, $10 billion more than the previous. This should be an area where we should be investing. Um, this is a question for the student body presidents. Um, this isn't so much of an issue for Ohio State, which is one of the few um, programs in the nation that has a self-sustaining athletics program. But the other um, universities all pay some level of subsidy. I think at Bowling Green State University, the Subsidy that students pay for athletics amounts to about $2,300 over the course of four years. Um, do you have any thoughts on whether or not athletics, the spending on athletics should should um, be reduced or shouldn't be supported by student fees? Or Yeah. Um, so your, your I think the, is, I'm Cole Tyman from Miami University. I think one of the keys to this is that these issues aren't just issues at the state level for our student governments. These are issues that we have to tackle on our university level as well. Um, so one thing we've recently done is, in, uh, excuse me, instituted a student fee task force to look at where our fees are going on campus. A large portion of our student fees that we pay, outside of just the tuition costs, do go to athletics. And I think at this point students understand that that's not, you know, for a school that had a football team go 2-12 and 12 this year, that's not necessarily where we want to be looking. But we want to make sure those priorities are there. We're here today to talk about what the state can do to invest in those costs, but I think these are also really important conversations that, as student leaders on our campuses, we need to be having with our administrations as well. Um, I wanted to ask, um, and 